On this day, on the My Mate Vince year of 2022, on Monday, the 12th of September, I bring to you, you ready? Ta-da! The Xbox Series S portable. Look at that. No AC cable. Get rid of that. Why, you may ask. Because all life is an experiment. The more experiments you make, the better. Also, it's kind of nice to game without being tethered to any wires. So, you see it working here? Let's bring it back inside where you can hear me nice and clearly, and I'll show you this in more detail. So here it is. I'll show you some gameplay at the end of the video and I'll show you a little bit of the build just in the middle of the video. But it looks like a nice chunky laptop. Now you can make it so much better if you were to spend more money on it. I just used what I already had around the house from various other projects. This here is a G-Story screen, but this one is for the Xbox One S that I bought ages ago. And the battery one here, some people might recognize from my portable Wii U. It's this one here, it's a car starter. If you were to spend a bit of money on it, you could make something really, really special. Put a much more powerful battery in, get the screen for the Series S, which actually fits perfectly on here. Also, the motherboard in here is absolutely tiny. Most of the inside of this is taken up with this big power supply, which I've taken out in this instance, and a massive fan. If you were to use more passive cooling or another way of cooling, you could make something really special with this motherboard with a screen directly on it. It could be more like maybe a Wii U gamepad, maybe something to think about in the future. So now, with this one here, normally you have your AC power cord going into this power supply. It's converting AC to DC, and then the DC is being used in here. Here. Right now, because I'm using batteries, it's just DC to DC. So this goes directly into the board, but I'll show you all that in a few minutes. Right, size-wise, we're talking about a width of 277 millimeters, a depth of 250 millimeters, and a height of 75 millimeters. Now let's weigh it. It's coming in at 2.8 kilograms, so 2,893 grams so obviously not really very portable in the sense of the word of a nintendo switch being portable but still it is portable meaning i could bring this up to the top of a mountain and it would work in its own right so to turn this beast on all we have to do is press this button twice at the bottom here and that will liven up the battery and now we press this button here you can hear the chime and now we have to turn the screen on as well and you will see it come to life. Now you're gonna ask me about battery life, I don't know yet, it's too early. <laughs> Look at that, how good is that? Look at it. Come on, you gotta admit, that does look pretty special. Obviously there's no lag or anything involved because it is playing on the actual Xbox Series S. Right, I am gonna show you some of the actual build. So once you've stripped down the Xbox Series S, you can take out the power supply, which is really easy. A few screws underneath and it just pops out. If you have a look here, obviously we're converting AC to DC. And if you look closely here, it will tell you what the output is. 12 volts at 13.75 amps. But remember, there's gonna be spare capacity in here. You might have external hard drives plugged in, you might be charging your controllers. Now, if we have a look at the power bank we're gonna be using, which is a car battery boost, you can actually see that this one will output 12 volts at 10 amps. So as long as this isn't lying to us, this should be 120 watts. Now, most things online say that the Xbox in use when you're playing a demanding game will be around 75 watts. So really, there should be enough in that to power this, as long as we don't go crazy plugging in other things into the Xbox. Now you can see on the board here that we have a plus, so that denotes that this side here, the prong that goes in here is gonna be the positive, so the prong that goes in the top is gonna to be the negative. So I've just brought a cable out from there. Obviously we don't need the AC input anymore, and I've converted it into two barrel jacks here. One will connect up to here, and the other one will connect up to the screen. So what's happening is, the power's coming down here, it's feeding this, and then it's going off here as well. 
red to red, black to black, so they're just in parallel with each other, so everything's just connected through. So I'm just downloading some simple games because otherwise it's gonna to be too demanding on the one power bank. Obviously you can get more powerful power banks. A uh, good thing here is that it's completely reversible. If you have a look here, the power supply, once you unplug the spade connectors, will just fit back in again, and I haven't even had to drill any holes because the cable here goes through there. So it's nice to experiment with something, but then at the end you've caused no damage, and the Xbox Series S will work as it did originally. So as you can see, it's really straightforward. You just take out the power supply and connect up a battery in its place. Now, where the power supply was in here, you have a whole load of empty room. So if you were to get a pack made up that was more square in shape, then it would be nice because you could hide it all here. Get the Series S screen for it, which ends a lot closer, and all of a sudden it becomes a lot more compact. Right, I'm gonna start with Double Dragon, and then I'll do a little bit of Pac-Land, because Pac-Land was my favorite game when I was, uh, when I was young. So you can hear the sounds nice, there's the speakers built into it, and uh, well it's not nice but it's loud, and the colours of the screen look lovely, especially on a game like this, you can really see that it looks, uh, it looks good, doesn't it? I am going to do a bit of Pac-Land. Who remembers this game from the arcade? Oh, so there we go. That is my portable Xbox Series S. Let's just go home. For uh, one day's work, I'm really happy with how it's come out. I think it looks really, really very good. And there's no funny business going on. You can see there the power bank at the back feeding it. So now I would think that that battery there would probably last between one and two hours playing games like this and on the dashboard and stuff. So not too, too bad. If you were to fill it with batteries here, I'm sure then it could become a viable thing. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like the Xbox Series S or do you think it's a complete waste of time? If you enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up. If you would like me to maybe try to refine it a bit more so, maybe I could take the wires from here and micro solder wires from the HDMI port here directly into here, then that will get rid of that HDMI cable there. That would make it look nicer. There's things to do to make it look better. Thanks so much for watching.